Hey guys from Riverbend Park in Jupiter. Uh, super dry out there. Our sloughs and lakes and ponds are all drying up. That's how we came by this guy here. I thought it would be kind of cool to give you a little uh, video here on what this is. Uh, if you should come across this animal, I mean, the first look at it, you almost think it's like a snake, which it's not. It's not a reptile. It doesn't have scales. Uh, a lot of people, when they do find these, think they've got an eel of some kind of a freshwater eel. In fact, some of the common names are mud eel, ditch eel, uh, and it's not an eel. An eel has uh, fins that go all the way around its body. This is actually a type of amphibian. It's one of two essentially giant salamanders that are found in Florida. The two are the siren and the two-toed amphiuma. Now a siren can grow to be one or two feet or longer and actually has bushy gills kind of up here by the head and it also has vestigial limbs at the front of its body and I think that's it. I don't think it has hind legs. This is not the siren. This is the two-toed amphiuma. So it has gill slits, not bushy gills. It does have very small vestigial limbs at the front and actually two more hind limbs at the back. Very small, can't really use them for anything. Uh, but the two-toed amphiuma can grow to be three to four feet long. This guy's probably about 18 inches if I stretch him out. So he's gonna be a lot bigger. Uh, and we are going to release this guy right back to the habitat so he can go ahead and grow bigger. Uh, they are found on the east coast of the U.S., everywhere from Alabama to Virginia, and they're uh, found throughout Florida. But you don't find them all the time. Uh, they're kind of secretive, they're nocturnal, and they live in really heavily vegetated and mucky areas, so it's not something you encounter all the time. If you're fishing at night, you might catch one. They are really slimy and slippery, so you'd have to remove it from the hook with a rag or something. You want to get it right back in the habitat, uh, and you want to watch them. They're harmless to humans, but they can deliver a bite if they're threatened too much. So that's just something to bear in mind. Uh, the population of these animals in Florida is big enough that they are important for the habitat, both as predator and prey. As predator, they eat small aquatic insects, worms, crayfish, mollusks, and also small fish. And then in turn, they are also prey for things like aquatic snakes and wading birds and alligators. So they have a definite niche that they play in the habitat. I cannot tell you the sex of this animal. We'd have to dissect it to do that. And as I said, we're certainly not doing that. It's going right back to the habitat. But there is some interesting uh, differences between the two on reproduction. This animal, uh, fertilization is internal. I don't know if you just saw that on the video. He came up with his head and blue bubbles. Uh, he can actually gulp air. So we'll talk more about that. But yeah, fertilization is internal. On the siren, it's external. So he's a hardy guy, that's why he was gulping the air. When the ponds dry up, this animal can actually do something kind of cool like a lungfish. They will estivate, which is kind of like a form of hibernation. So he'll form a cocoon around his body. He'll estivate, slow his body processes down, and live off his own body fats till the rain comes back. And this animal can burst out of the cocoon and go back into the rain. So really interesting. We're lucky to be able to see this for a while. I'm going to go back and put him back in his home and wish everybody a good day. Stay safe. Thanks, guys.